isang mapagpalang araw po sa inyong lahat. Good day everyone, this is Brother Jonas and this is for our Lockdown to Look Up series, your daily inspiration amid the COVID-19 pandemic, day 81. Yes, day 81. And our topic for tonight is the power of I am. The power of I am. This is amazing. I love this. Day 81, our topic is the power of I am. And just for a while, I'll just share this video to my friends. I hope that you are all amazing, especially those who are watching at this present moment. Bless you more. Yes. There are so many things happening around, you know, so many good news. And yeah, for a while, I'll just share this. My biggest win for today is that my students in my batch, um, Write Your Legacy Batch for 100% completed their one-on-one. -on -one. So there's a big chance that they will launch their book, okay? I'll just share this. Yes. And one more time, our topic is about the power of I am. And you will love this series. You will love this topic because I see a lot of people who actually use I am negatively. They do not take advantage to the power of I am that they use every single day. The power of I am. What are the thoughts? What are the things? What are the values? What are the virtues? What are the characteristics that you attach to yourself? And this is the power of I am. Do you speak, do you take advantage to the power of I am? Plenty of times when I'm not yet into personal development, I use I am negatively. Whenever I commit a mistake, I always remind myself, oh, Jonas, you are stupid. I am stupid. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm, I'm, I'm poor. I always do that. So tonight, we will talk about the power of I am. And if you are watching at this present moment, please click the share button, maybe. Your friends are waiting for this message so that we can inspire them, okay? Our big message for tonight related to the, to the power, okay, of I am is this. Our big message, what you confess, you manifest. What you confess, you manifest. And your words, they are very powerful. Sometimes you leave the thoughts and people, my friends, even my students, they observe this it plenty of times. Whenever they announce, you know what, Brother Jonas, I think I cannot do this. You know what, Brother Jonas, I think I'm not strong. You know what, Brother Jonas, I think I'm weak. You know what, Brother Jonas, I think I'm stupid. You know what, Brother Jonas, I think I cannot become successful. I think I am, I am, I am, and all the negative. And you are brainwashing yourself. You are trying to remind yourself. You are actually teaching yourself to behave the way you, with related to the words that you speak, related to the thoughts that you think. So what you confess, you manifest. I want you to declare. I want you to confess powerful things. I want you to confess amazing things. I want you to recite powerful things that represent your life. What you confess, you manifest. In our Bible verse for tonight from the book of Matthew, I love this, okay? From the book of Matthew 16, verse 15 that says, But how about you? He asked, who do you say I am? And you will love the last message of this series, Lockdown to Look Up series, The Power of I Am. I first heard The Power of I Am from Joel Austin. And Joel Austin's message, big message is, your I am is very powerful. Don't expect that you will attract many things in your life if your I am are purely negative. And of course, every night, I also listen to my meditation entitled I Am Affirmation. So I always hear I am affirmation maybe for one hour. Sometimes I just put it in low note or low tone. And then before I sleep, I'm listening to the power of I am. Yes, good evening to you, Carpel Yoga Dizon. Can I request everyone to please click the share button? I miss everyone. Thank you so much for being here. If you want to inspire someone today, be an instrument of blessing, please click the share button and inspire someone tonight. Before we proceed, can we pray our, my favorite prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit? Amen. Today I receive all of God's love for me. Today I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today I open myself to God's 
God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I am God's beloved. I am God's servant. I am God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And, of course, this Bible verse, but what about you? He asked, who do you say I am? The disciples, they are, you know, gathered together. And uh, during this time, Jesus actually asked um, ask them, who do people say the Son of Man is? So the, the disciples, they are trying to, you know, think some say John the Baptist. Others, they think it's Elijah. Other think it's Jeremiah. And then Jesus asked Peter, how about you? But what about you? He asked, who do you say I am? And Simon Peter answered, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. Very bold, very powerful declaration of Peter telling to Jesus Christ that you are the Messiah, you're the son of God. Very powerful. Okay, so tonight I will share five tips that I want, you know, that you can use every single day. Very practical tips that you can use in order for you to become successful. Okay, number one is, let's discuss first the negative I am. Negative I am. And we use this most often, you know, you are unaware. So that's why I believe that the first step towards progress, it's not action. It's not goal setting. You know, what's the first? It's self-awareness. Self-awareness for me is very powerful because you will only, you will only sol solve your problem if you know the problem, right? It's logic. You will know what to target. If you know your problems, if you will attend my financial literacy seminars and workshops, I will try to present all the problems. I will dig deep so that you will know your problems. You will know your faulty money habits, your faulty mindset, the negative things that you are doing. If you will attend my Write Your Legacy workshops, the first thing, the first part of the module is to let you know, here are your mistakes, here are your excusitis. If you will attend my employee productivity, the first part of the workshop is self-awareness. I want you to reflect. How about your habits? How about your habits when you arrive at, uh, in your workplace? And assess yourself whether you are doing good or not. Because the first step towards success is self-awareness. You can only solve your problem if you know the problem. And the first one is the negative I am. Many people, they love to declare, I am poor. I am stupid. Even if you are unaware, you have that certain expression. And I hear a lot of people, and especially people in the social media who are asking for counseling whenever they send a message, I do some warning. Okay, you know what, Brother Jonas? I am poor. What? Who told you that you are poor? And because my father is poor, my mother is like this and all. And I told myself, not them, it's about you. The negative I am that you use. To. Sometimes you're wondering why my finances until today, it's not getting better. It's becoming worse, actually. How about in your career? I am stupid. These are, these are the things that I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear anyone because there's no such thing as stupid. In reality, no one is stupid. Honestly speaking, God created every person with brilliance, with intelligence, with talents, with potentials. God does not play favorites. So what I want to tell you, it's not because, you know, I go to church and I pray and God, you know, God loves me or he favors me a lot. No. God does not play favorites, honestly speaking. You know what happened? You block the blessing because of the words that you use and the negative I am. For example, I will never be promoted. I am stupid. I am crazy. I am alone already. I am like this. I am heartbroken. I am devastated. I am frustrated. When you use the negative I am, it will reflect in your life. That's why no wonder, you know, what's my mantra that the worst I am that I use in my life is I will never become successful. I felt that year 2012, 2011, I felt that I was not moving forward. I felt that my life is not getting any better. That's a big problem. So the negative I am is very crucial in order for you to become successful. You need to, be, to assess yourself. Can you write here what are the common problems? Sige nga, can you write in the comment section yung I am na sinusulat mo dyan? Do you use I am, I am fat? Yeah, I am... You know, I'm fat, I'm unhealthy, I'm, I'm, I'm sickly. Ah, they use that. Okay, you know what? I'm sickly, I'm always having this rhinitis. So since I was a child, I'm always ex I am always experienced that. And there are also certain people who coin in their lives that, you know, my relationships will never get better. 
my relationship, you know, it's it's awful. And they attach that to themselves. I am poor. That's the most common. And I don't want that to happen. And sometimes I am not being favored. They use that. And I am is very powerful. You are putting some labels into your life. I'm a failure. I'm a failure because whenever you do something, something you are not because you, you cannot achieve anything that you want, and you already tag yourself as a failure. Failure happens. Even the most successful people, they experience failure. They are not excused. It happens to the best of us. What matters is you stand up. What happens is you get back on track. That's the best thing that you can do. Now, I want you to transform that negative I am into the positive I am. Let's use the positive I am. So number two for tonight is the positive I am. What are the negative things? Write it down and after that, you transform it. The positive I am will certainly change your life. First, it will change your day. Next, it will change your week or your month because I am, you are actually training. The word I am, you are training yourself. You are like giving a lot of instructions to yourself that you are stupid and then yourself will follow. That you are crazy, yourself will follow. That you will never become successful and then yourself will follow. But if you will attach into yourself, I am prosperous, I am a happy person. Yeah, I see people who who tells me like uh, tell me like I am sickly. I'm always I don't know. And there is also okay um, negative. I am also I am not lovable. I encounter that people who tells that you know I am I'm not lovable. People always leave me. I don't want to, to involve in any relationship. The positive I am is I am prosperous. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am amazing. I am wonderful. I have a promising future. I'm living a life of abundance. I am, I am. And you can search in YouTube. You can actually download I am affirmation for one hour. Powerful affirmation about your life. I am prosperous. I am healthy. And whenever you declare that, and it will happen. Remember what you confess, you manifest. Remember what you confess, you manifest. So there are many ways. I am healthy. I am beautiful. Okay. Okay, I am handsome. You should use that. That's not pride. It's positive affirmation. Taking advantage of the power of I am. Don't ever wonder that you will become healthy. Don't don't, uh, expect that you will become successful if you attach the word failure in your life. So attach I'm a success. I am prosperous. I, I am living my dreams. And I use this. Honestly speaking, a lot, even some of my friends here, ah, they always use that. And I always tell them, what? Because I want to, you know, I want to change their perspective because perspective is one powerful thing. It's something, your mindset, your perspective in life, when you expect blessing, blessings will come. That's why what you confess, you manifest. I am blessed. I love that. I am happy. I am loved. And I always declare that I am love, I am healthy. Can we use that? I am love. What are the examples of I am that we can use? I am amazing. I am powerful. I am magnificent. I am brilliant. I don't want to hear anyone, okay, who will tell me that I am stupid. You know, Brother Jonas, I cannot write a book because I'm dumb. Because I'm not good, I am not good. You are already claiming. And sometimes your body will just follow what you tell. I'm a very positive person. I'm a happy person. I love that. That's powerful. And take at number three is take advantage to the power of I am. Okay? Take advantage with the power of I am. So when you wake up in the morning, I want you to recite that I am God's beloved. I am God's powerful champion. You, you heard a while ago my prayer. I will discuss later. Take advantage with the power of I am being of God's love. I will present that later. But how to take advantage? You know, your 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 mouth or the words that you use, your tongue will actually speak a lot of things in your life. Yes, later is a shout out. Natin lahat yan. Thank you. The power of I am. First, you have your. Please have some self awareness so that you realize the wrong things that you do, the negative I am that you attach with yourself. 
And then after that, you change it. Whenever you speak like, when you're talking to your friend and then you said, you know what, I'm stupid. Really, I'm really stupid because I made a mistake again like this. And I'll change that, okay? Transform that. I'm a work in progress. You can you can use that. Number uh, number three is take advantage of the power of I am. So please take advantage. When you wake up in the morning, you recite, I'm God's beloved. I'm God's powerful champion. You recite, I'm amazing. Before you sleep, you can download. Okay, It's very easy to download from YouTube. You just convert to MP3. If you want it, you can send a message. I will send to you. Uh, I will send the file so that you can use it. The power of I am. The I am affirmation. I am amazing. I am great. I am wealthy. I am healthy. I am prosperous. And your, your body will follow. Not only your body, your words will follow. And not only your words, your decisions will follow. Why? Because every single day, you are planting in your subconscious mind that you are prosperous. Stop wasting the opportunity. You are actually trying to destroy the beautiful life, the amazing life that you should have. And number four, this I want to share. My favorite prayer. This is our prayer at the feast. It's called the Novena to God's Love. The Novena to God's Love. Novena to God's Love. Yung prayer ko kanina, today I receive all of God's love for me. I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. I am God's beloved. You hear that? I am God's beloved. I am God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world, right? I am God's powerful champion. What a powerful declaration. I am God's. Uh -huh. The first one is. I am God's beloved. You can use that when you uh, pray in the morning. You just recite, I am God's beloved. And also, as apart from that, I am God's powerful champion. Right? So that God did not create a mediocre. God did not create a loser. God, actually, your original form is you are God's powerful champion. Please remember that and declare that I am God's powerful champion. I am God's beloved. And I am blessed because I am blessed. I am blessing the world, right? I am blessed and I am I am blessing the world. Even these three statements, you can use this in order for you to like, uh, start your day right. I am blessed and I am blessing the world. Very powerful, right? So number four, use this novena to God's love. Three powerful affirmation. I am God's beloved. I am God's powerful champion. I am blessed and I am blessing the world. That's powerful. And last but not least, the most important thing that we will discuss tonight, the most powerful I am is this. Okay? The most powerful I am is this. When Jesus asked Peter, Peter, who do you think I am? You know, after they went out and they got tired and they are resting and the disciples are just trying to, you know, sharing their experience on that day. And immediately Jesus is asking, who do you think is the son of man? And then everyone was stunned. They were surprised. And then, you know, Peter answered. I, I, Peter was asked by Jesus and then Peter answered. Peter, no, Jesus asked Peter. This is the question from, where's our Bible verse? Jesus said, Peter, what about you? Who do you say I am? Who do you say I am? And for me, the most powerful I am is the answer of Peter. You are, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. And I want to tell you right now, okay? Jesus is telling you, Jesus, am I blessed? Jesus, do you love me? Are you, you know, trying to save me or are you doing something for my life? And you know what Jesus is telling who do you say I am? Or Jesus is asking you. I want to ask you now. And Imagine Jesus in front of you asking you, okay? Evelyn, who do you say I am? Do you believe that I'm the, you know, I'm the son of God? What do you think of me? Who do you say I am? Carpeliogo, Jesus is asking you, who do you say I am? And it will manifest in your life. It will manifest in your life. The greatest I am, his name. Is Jesus Christ. And do you want to change your life? Please leave this word towards I am. The great I am. The great I am is Jesus Christ. And if you believe that he is the son of the living God, 
you can actually live an abundant, an amazing, and powerful life. I am who you say I am. May kanta yun eh. Uh-huh. Who the sun sets free. Yeah, my favorite song. Who is free indeed. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. Yes. Let's declare. I'm a son of God. Yes, I am. Who the sun sets free. Who is free indeed. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. Can I request everyone to just close your eyes and feel the presence of the Lord? I want you to enjoy this moment just to embrace God, to hug. I want you to just bring down all the things that you are holding now. Your God, just relax. Just listen to me. And can we all inhale? And then exhale. And one more time, inhale. And then exhale. I want you to inhale one last time the love of God. And then exhale all your words, all the negativities. This time, is focus to God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, amen. Our dear and ever-loving God, we praise you. We honor you. We lift you higher. We exalt you. We believe that you are the Son of the living God. We believe that you are the Messiah. You believe, we believe that you are our Savior. We believe that you're the one who died on the cross 2,000 years ago and gave us the gift of salvation, the unearned, unmerited, and undeserved favor, but you have gave it, you, have, you gave it for free. Thank you for the gift of grace. Lord God, we are now at the foot of your cross, and we just want to ask for forgiveness. If today we offended someone, we said something that you know offended other people, if we did some mistake or seed, can you clean our heart, Lord God? Clean our thoughts, our minds. Thank you, Jesus, for the gift of forgiveness. Lord God, thank you so much for your message today, the power of I am. Thank you for teaching us that our lives sometimes, we are so focused on the negative I am. Teach our hearts to declare the positive I am, that because of you, we are abundant. That because of you, we are prosperous. That because of you, we are healthy. That because of you, we are successful. Teach our hearts, each and every person here, Lord God, is watching this present moment. Allow them to declare the powerful I am. I am prosperous. I am successful. I am abundant. I am amazing. I am great. Thank you, Lord God. And we believe right this very moment. We just want to declare that you are the greatest I am. We believe that you are the son of the living God. That's the most powerful I am. Believing in you. Living a life according to your will. Searching you. Loving you every single day. Lord God, I just want to lift to you the lives of each and every person who's watching at this present moment. To anyone right now who's experiencing darkness, suffocated, he or she doesn't know what to do, always crying, having a problem. I pray, Lord God, that you teach him or her to search for you, to embrace you. Show them the light, Lord God. Give them hope. I pray that you embrace them during the darkest moment of their life. Give them the understanding, Lord God, the peace that they need. Lord, I also pray to anyone this present moment who is experiencing financial problem. I pray, Lord God, that you provide. You're a God of miracle. You're a God of abundance. You're a God of prosperity. That in your universe, there is no scarcity. We pray, Lord God, that you will provide. Lord, to anyone this present moment we seek, having a problem, we declare healing, Lord God. And if they have any family member who is experiencing some problem right now, health problems, I pray, Lord God, that you give them the gift of healing. I send the Holy Spirit to touch the hearts, the minds of these people. And Lord God, to anyone who lost someone today, embrace them, Lord God. Give them the hope that they need. Lord, I also pray for the relationship of these people, for their families. I pray that you will be the center of their relationship, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus, for the abundant relationship, for the harmonious relationship. And lastly, Lord God, we also pray for their work, for their career. Bless them, Lord God, whatever it is that they are doing, the teachers, the nurses, anyone, Lord God. I pray, Lord, that you bless them, their workplace, and that they will embrace excellence at all times. 
Lord God, I also lift to you the dreams of these people. Whatever it is, Lord God, we just want to lift to you our dreams. To write a book, to compose a song, to start a business, to build a house, to work abroad, to go home to the Philippines, to pursue a career, whatever it is, Lord God, we just want to lift it all up to you. And we pray that you sanctify these dreams because we believe that in your perfect moment, these dreams will come true. Lord, the very reason why we are gathered here together is to pray for this pandemic. We pray, Lord God, that the scientists, the doctors will discover the cure and the vaccine for this COVID-19. Bless those who are afflicted by the disease, Lord God. Those who are sick at this present moment, we pray for healing. And Lord God, if it's not yet your will that this pandemic will end soon, teach our hearts to trust you, that you are in control, that you know better. And lastly, Panginoon, we just want to bombard the heaven with gratitude. Thank you first and foremost for the privilege, for the life that you have given us. The mere fact that we are still alive and breathing, this is your biggest gift today. We thank you, Lord God, for giving us the gift of family, the gift of friendship, for the wonderful people you have sent us, for the friends that we have, for the relatives that we have. Lord God, we also thank you for the comfortable home that we have. For the food that we eat, the money that we have, all these things came from you. And so we just want to bring it all up to you. All the blessings, all the honor, all the thanksgiving, all the praises to the most powerful name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Yes. Thank you for tuning in. I want to say hi to Prince Banal Makabangon. Isang mapagpalang araw sa iyo. mga nanonood sa gabing ito. I-shout out lang natin sila. Yes, of course. Aha. Uh -huh. Isa-isahin natin. First, sino ba? Yan, Carpel Yoga Dizon. I want to say hi our friend from Canada. From Quebec, isang mapagpalang gabi sa iyo. Sana ulan ka pa ng walang katapusang biyaya at pagpapala. Ang ating author ng How to Be You po, pa-reserve na lang. Marap na pa agad na lang libro ni Ma'am Marilyn Pasyon. <laughs> from Santiago City. Hello, we have a new family here. I think Shambe Aveng. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> Isang mapagpalang gabi sa'yo. Sana okay na okay ka. We gather here together every night around 8 p.m. We pray together. We discuss some things. We study the Word of God. And we are doing it for almost 81 days now. Yes, shambe. Talaga naman. Good, uh, good mentor, bro, Jonas. Talaga naman. <laughs> okay. Also, uh, si Tita Regina Kalamba. Good evening, everyone. Hello, po, coach. How are you, our agriculturist and teacher? Makikita na kita sa Sunday. Huwag mo masyadong paghandaan. Baka naka-ball gown ka. Si Ate Melding Lasan, our friend from the Sultanate of Oman. Isang mabagpalang gabi sa'yo. Ricards kay Kuya. And of course, ayan, mga declaration na nila. Oh. Declaration ni ani author Marilyn, I'm a happy person. Ramdam ko yon. Kaya nga ang book mo, di ba, How to Be You po. I am healthy, sabi ni Shambi. Praise God. Let's claim it. And I just wanna say hi to Iris Cantiveros and Zagia de los Santos. Pagpalaim pa kayong dalawa. Ang ating dancer from the mom, Shen Ash Toralba, the mom, Saudi Arabia. I am blessed. I'm happy in Jesus because Jesus loves me. Blessed day, brother JD. Talaga naman. <laughs> Mabuti na lang hindi JL. The blue guy but not out of the <laughs> Akala ko ilalagay mo bluer than blue. <laughs> that I'm bluer than blue. Sadder than sad. You're the only... Nangalang, baka marami mag-live. <laughs> I'm a very positive and happy person. Ramdam ko yan ate, Mel. Maraming salamat. Good eve sa BFF ko, Jobilin Gapos. Jobilin Gapos, i-declare lang natin, I am healthy. Praise God. Pa-shout out po, Brother JT, later sa mga ka-PNB family ko. We are blessed. I hope you all, and of course, my, my fam your family. Okay, I love you guys. Talaga naman. We love you too. Thank you. I am blessed. I am blessing the world. Ayun, i-declare mo yan. Shambe, ang ganda ng pangalan mo, ha? <laughs> and of course, Ma'am Evelyn Pereda, yes, I am blessed. I am going to share these blessings. Remember, Ma'am Evelyn, a blessing is not a blessing unless it is not passed on. A blessing is not a blessing unless it is shared. Praise God. And yung book mo, excited na ako. I am a child of God. I am love. I am blessed. I am healed. Yes, that's the power of I am. 
pwede i-post yung mga to sa Facebook nyo. Can you post after this one powerful I am? Kahit ano lang. To share good vibes sa mga kaibigan ninyo. I am. Okay? If you want to inspire other people, you can click share the share button din para kahit pa paano ma-inspire natin sila. Good evening, Rose Dilia from Nueva Ecija. Tagal, tagal na natin din nag-usap. I already miss you. Wow! <laughs> Carpil Yogo Dizon from Canada. I'm a child of God. Yes, you are. You are a child of God. Thank you sa message, Coach. Pagpalain ka pa, Ma Marilyn. Excited sa libro mo. I am so blessed for my everyday life. Thank you, Lord God. Yes, I am. I am blessed. Ididikit nyo sa sarili nyo yung I am na yan. Ah, you will become happy. I'm 100% sure. Welcome, Mare. Vivian Dino Valdez. Thanks for viewing. Pagpalain ka pa. Marina Liwanon. Yes, declaring positive every morning. Make more stronger. I used to do it in front of the mirror. Dear Marina, we call it the mirror affirmation. Mirror affirmation, okay? I am God's beloved and this is a great happiness to bless me. God's river of blessing is flowing to me in every single moment of my life. Everything I need comes to me. Ah, di ba? <laughs> Vivian de la Valdez, you're welcome, Mare. Wow, talaga naman, itong magkumare. I felt I was blessed. Good evening po. Yes, wow, talaga naman. I felt I was blessed. Good evening. Wow, Shambe. Shambe, we, we want to we wanna hear from you more, okay? Can you join us every day from 8 p.m.? Your inputs are amazing. Thank you so much. Hope to meet you. Wow, meron pala tayo dito from Perth, Australia. Wow, nakakatawa. Our family is, you know, growing. Starting today, Shambe and dear Vivian, this is your spiritual family. You are welcome here. You are now part of this growing family. You are doing it every day and you are very much welcome. If you are busy, you can just check this video because it's recorded naman. Okay? So maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. The power of I am, yun ang gagawin natin. The first thing that you need to do, no, our biggest message is what you confess, you manifest. And of course, our Bible verse... Matthew 16, 15, but what about you? He asked, who do you say I am? The first thing that you need to do, reflect first. If you have all the negative I am in your life, number two, focus on the positive I am. And then number three, take advantage of the power of I am. You can use it every morning or before you sleep. And then recite also novena of God's love, novena to God's love by saying I am God's beloved, I'm God's powerful champion. I am blessed and I am blessing the world. And last but not the least, the great I am is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is asking you now, who do you think he is in your life? Only you can answer. Thank you for tuning in. I love you guys. Again, thank you for the love, for the, you know, for the respect, for the trust, for the support. And I'm forever grateful for your help. And let's nourish our spirit and join hands in prayer that this pandemic will soon end. God bless everyone. You are love. You are love. Bye-bye.